Hello there, welcome to this tutorial on cell phone and cargo version 1.6.3.1 onwards on how to use the 3D cockpit integration with the PMDG 737 to control the communications with cell phone and cargo. So the first thing to do is open up cell phone and cargo, ext extend the toolbar, go to settings, make sure it's all turned on by going to compatibility, aircraft, finding the PNGG 737 and turning on the enable intercom integration, enable PA system integration and enable ground integration. Make sure those three checkboxes are turned on. They are on by default but just in case they're turned off, make sure they're turned on if you want to use this functionality. So what this allows you to do is to duplicate the functionality of these three buttons here, the ground crew intercom and PA system by using the buttons in your 3D cockpit. Um, so that means that you don't actually need this interface anymore unless you want to use these items here. But if you're in sort of normal piloting mode and you don't want to see any of the interface, you can open up the voice recognition helper window, which I have here by extending the toolbar on the main interface and clicking the question mark icon. So I have it turned on. And on that window, you will see a button that says SLC UI in green because the interface is showing. If I click that, it turns the interface off completely. It goes pink and we are at the mercy of the 3D cockpit for making our communications. If I ever want that interface back, I can just click the button. I can show and hide it as at will. And basically the purpose of this window, if you're at all familiar with self load and cargo, is to show any voice um, commands that become available when we're using the channels. So, first things first, if I wanted to make a PA announcement to my passengers, I go down to the audio control panel and I've got these mic selector buttons here and also the master switches for each one. Now, you can see FLT, which is the ground crew, that's actually turned on because the ground crew are connected. self and Cargo knows they're available, so that is turned on. But I want to make a PA system. Uh, broadcast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on PA. I'm going to turn that on. Well, actually, I'm going to I'm going to turn it off for now and I'm going to click the mic selector and nothing will happen. It is selected, but nothing's going to happen. But if I then click on PA and then do it, you can see that South London Cargo recognized that the PA system was turned on and we've chosen to toggle the mic and we're now ready to make our broadcast. So if I wanted to talk to the passengers, I can use this command here. But instead, what I'm going to do is I am going to summon the cabin crew to the cabin via the intercom because I want to I want to have a word with the purser and find out what's going on in the back. So I'm going to turn on the SVC for service. Oops, don't know what happened there. Turn it on and then click the microphone, which will start the intercom ringing. And remember, it takes a while for her to come. Hi. Okay. How are things in the back? All good. We're ready to go once the jetway is removed and we'll start securing the passengers when we begin to taxi. Great. I'll make the call to remove the jetway and you can close the doors. Thanks. So, we're no longer talking to her. If I want to talk to the ground crew, I can click on the mic selector for FLT, which is our ground, and it will key the microphone, and we will wait to hear from ground, who are French, because we are currently in Nantes in France. And I didn't actually turn the channel on, even though it's available. So I'll turn that on, key the mic, there we go. Go ahead. Radio check, please. Check those five, those are five. Roger. So there we go, that's how to use the mic selector and the radio channels on there. Now, if you wanted to do via the overhead, we have the options for contacting ground via the GRD call. So that's keyed the microphone again, we're waiting for ground. Go 
Go ahead. Disregard, sorry. Roger. And the intercom again. The attendant, we want the attendant to come to the intercom, so we press this. And the intercom is ringing, and we just have to wait for her to answer again. Hi, Captain. Can you turn the music on, please? No problem. Give me a second. Thanks. So we would be able to hear the uh, the music, but the flight deck door is closed. If it can we open it? No. I've forgotten how to open the door on this. But anyway, that's as e that's how easy it is to talk to the cabin crew. So if you want to use the audio control panel, you can uh, you you can use the microphone for ground, intercom, and the PA as long as the master switches are turned on. If you want to use the overhead control panel. You can summon the flight attendant by clicking attend, or you can talk to ground if they're connected to the aircraft by clicking on GRD call. And it is as simple as that. Everything in soft and cargo continues to work. If we go to the, uh, the narration window, you can see everything that's been sort of said throughout the course of our discussions. We still have the, uh, the passengers waiting patiently for takeoff with uh, in-flight entertainment. And that's that. Easy as you like. So thank you for using self and Cargo. I hope you enjoy this new functionality with the PMDG aircraft. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Thanks.